In this video, I want to talk about the battery grip for the Canon EOS R and overall the battery grip topic. Do you need one? Should you get one? What do I think about this? And all of this started in about September 2021 when I actually purchased the battery grip for the Canon EOS R. And interesting story, I'm actually in the process of selling this battery grip, but it does not have anything to do with the fact that I don't like it. Now, first up, I wanna say I have done an initial review on this in September of last year, and you might wanna check that out linked up here or also in the description below. There, I will go in more detail in some of these aspects. This video here is more of an extension of that previous video to kind of like go over what I liked and disliked about the experience of using a battery grip and what I think about it after a couple of months instead of just having it for like a week or something like that. Now, at first, adding a battery grip to your camera might feel counterintuitive. All you're doing is make it a lot heavier. However, the additional features, in my opinion, are completely worth it. For one, you get more controls for vertical shooting, of course. As you are putting the battery grip right there and screwing it on, you actually get a lot of the controls that you have on the camera right here, also right there, so that you can actually use those when you are shooting in vertical format. And of course, you also have the shutter button, as well as the main dial that you have around the area where the shutter button is. Now, one thing that I found really interesting with these buttons slash dials is that the dial right here in the battery grip, it feels much, much better than the one that they have up here for the mode dial. So this is the mode dial back here. And this here is just so much easier to use than using the other one, which is kind of indented into the camera housing a lot more and it's harder to reach. Now the one on the top right here feels quite nice. And the one up here is pretty much the same. It's a little louder, but other than that, it's similar. This one here is just that much smoother and easier to handle and instead of the one that they have up here. I would hope that they actually would make this button back here or put it back into the same spot where it once was and is still with the battery grip. Now, of course, you get other buttons on top of that. You have the AF on, you have the star button as well as the focus area choosing. You have the multi-function button at the top right here where you can choose all of those things like setting up this quick menu for ISO as well as the white balance and shooting modes and stuff like that. So all of that is pretty much the same when you're using the camera like this as you are doing when you're normally using it. Another really cool thing is that because this is actually quite significantly thicker since it is holding the batteries in there, it actually feels really, really nice in the camera. It's a chunky, bulky thing, but it is a really nice feel. And actually, to me, it feels actually nicer than holding the camera itself. And I have seen this opinion shared by some other people as well. Now, one thing that I would like is that it would completely close off with the body in this direction, so not stick out here once again. Um, I don't know why that is necessary because here you have a really smooth area where it just goes on, 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 and it is with the camera. But on the other side, you just have it sticking out that much further. That would be something that I would like to see improved upon to make it more similar so that it is actually a boxy design that is kind of fitting to the camera body instead of looking like it's attached to it. Now, right now, the only camera that has a built-in battery grip is the Canon EOS R3, and that's a beast of a camera. It is super fast and not something that I'm going to pick up anytime soon because the megapixel count isn't really up to the standard or up to the level that I would like to see. I know that it's not necessarily necessary to have more megapixels, but 20 or 22 megapixels is just not enough for me. I don't do that much sports. I don't need the extremely high frequency of taking photos. But as you might know, I am actually getting the Canon EOS R5C, and there I'm actually considering to also get the battery grip once I have the camera in my hands and probably once I do some more saving up because the battery grip for the R5C actually costs like three times as much as I paid for this one when I purchased this one here used. Now, a couple more things that are very obvious is when you use a battery grip, you get double the battery life that you normally get because on this little sled that you can put into the body here, you can actually put two batteries into it. So that's obviously one of the great benefits and it is also possible to put in a dummy battery and you have a little flap right there where you can funnel the cable out so that you can still also use those if you want to. I actually was really happy with the double battery compartment 
when we were shooting in Spain because that way I did not have to worry about this specific camera as much as I had to with other cameras that we were also using where the switching out batteries was much more necessary than here because it kind of just uses them after one another and that way you don't have any interruptions whatsoever except for of course the 30 minute record time limit specifically on the Canon EOS R, R5, R6 and now with the R3 and the R5C, those are no longer a part of the lineup. But of course, those other cameras still have that limitation. Something that I really enjoy is the vertical shooting for social media. Now I'm doing more and more of that with the reels, as well as, of course, with the shots that you need for Instagram and stuff like that. And there, this is extremely handy to be able to simply take those shots with a nice and comfortable hand-holding position instead of having to use some kind of a weird holding thing like that or having to kind of like force yourself doing it like this. This here is just that much more comfortable and I guess it is also going to be more stable because you are in a more comfortable position. Something else that I also noticed is when I put my plate right here, I like to have the Peak Design plate on the bottom here. It doesn't necessarily feel as comfortable as it does without that plate. But of course, I do want to have the plates on there because that way I can put it into my Peak Design strap and just hold it like this on my backpack or I have it on my belt and I can just have my camera mounted that way. And the cool thing there is if you get the capture clip from Peak Design with the padding, which is an additional product that you need to buy, but that actually is really nice and comfortable when you're using it with the battery grip because it is more stable and it also provides more padding so that it doesn't eat into your bones that much. Now, overall, I can say I love having a battery grip. It's about 360, 350 grams more if you just choose one battery. And of course, if you choose two batteries, it's 360 for the grip and another something like 75 grams for the additional battery, which of course brings the whole weight of the setup significantly higher, but you are also getting a lot of those benefits for specifically a vertical shooting as well as longer run times and those things. Now, again, I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to sell it because I am switching to the R5C as my main camera. And with the battery grip here, as I am going to upgrade to this other camera, I'm probably not going to pick up this camera much longer for the A camera or photo camera and all of those things because the new camera has more megapixels, other features that are also really interesting. And I can roll over some of the money that I'm going to get back by selling these things to invest into the upgraded versions for the R5C and of course the camera itself. Now, if you have any questions about battery grips or specifically the battery grip here for the Canon EOS R, please feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to know more about this battery grip, I can also recommend you check out my other video, which I made about this topic in September last year. That will be linked in the description. And of course, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That's always greatly appreciated. With all that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make it your life, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.